Hello and welcome to the second video in this series looking at the old Midland and Great Northern Joint Railway Line from South Lynn to Melton Constable via Fakenham. I shall be looking at what's left of this old line and a little bit of history. So let's get started. So we come along now and this is the old line and it comes past this gatehouse number 8 at Massingham Road built in 1880 in weatherboarded style and that's the direction the railway would have taken and it, there is the uh, old line there and it comes now past gatehouse number 9 at Kipton Heath. This was also built in 1880 in weatherboarded style but was rebuilt in concrete in 1916 and that's the direction the railway would take towards Fakenham there was an old fence restraining post as a, another uh, relic of the old line still standing and that's the way to Fakenham next we come to East Rudham station this was originally a one platform on the single line, but later a passing loop and a second platform were added. The station building was of the W and J office design in red brick. Other facilities included a large goods shed with four sidings and a long head shunt. Also another goods shed and crane and loading dock and cattle pens. You must remember that in years ago, every single station had a, an input of cattle from the surrounding farms. I, I suppose going to market, etc. And also there was vegetables and all sorts of things from the farms that had to be uh, exported. And it was the station master who actually set the the price of, of transporting these goods. As I've said before, he was a very important man at that time. So I'm on the north side of the approach to the station. That's looking west. There's the railway hotel. And at the top there is where the line crossed the road. And this is the other side looking west again that's where the line crossed the road via a level crossing and that's looking towards Fakenham the what's left of the old station which has been done up and is now a private residence there's a bit added on to the front of the station there um, at the other end of the station would have been overbridge number 80 um, but the station there has been well preserved, as you can see. And here's a picture of a train approaching from the Fakenham direction. You can see the office style building there on the right hand side. And this is the office, uh, not the office, this is the roadside of the office building. With the steps leading up to the entrance. And this is the goods yard area. This would all have been the large goods yard. Most of that anyway. Not all of it, I don't think, because it's been expanded. And, this, and the station master's house would have been on the left there. Right, let's carry on to the next location. So before we get to our next station, we find what's left of this overbridge, number 81 which was a plate girder. Just the abutments left now. If I walk down to the other side, past them, and now this is the other side, and we're looking back along the embankment there towards um, South Lynn, where we've just been. There's a fence restraining post there, that's the embankment towards South Lynn. And if we swing round the other way, that's looking back, or forward rather, towards Fakenham. 
Next we come to Raynham Park Station. As before, originally a single line and one platform, but later a passing loop and a second platform were added. Access between the platforms was by a boarded crossing. No footbridge here. Uh, the office style um, station building in red brick was on the up platform. There was a small, very basic goods yard with one siding and head shunt. And there was a signal box at the end of the up platform next to the level crossing. And a half timbered station master's house was also provided. And here we see the approach to the station from the road, the level crossing and signal box and the station building to the right. And here's an old picture of a train arriving, I would think, from Fakenham on the upside. And that's looking back now along the old track bed towards, back towards South Lynn, which at the time was very badly flooded. And this is looking towards Fakenham at the station building that has been well preserved, is now a private residence the original signal box, some original M and GN fencing, you can just make out the half timbered station master's house there on the left. Just have a slightly closer look we can gain. And this is the other side of the station building. The roadside say now a private residence. I did talk to the lady that lived there and she was very kind to give me some more information. And uh, so it's all very well, one of the best preserved stations on the system, I think. There are others and they're all private residences. And here we have a view along the platform towards Baconham with the station master's house there again on the left. All been nicely preserved. And here's a view, similar view there originally and uh, so looking towards the old track there towards our next station of Faken. Some of these stations have been well preserved by people who live in them, that's the station master's house. And I think if you live in one of these places that's what you feel you have to do really. So I'm approaching Fakenham now, about a mile out I think. Um, along the old uh, track bed which is now a footpath used by quite a lot of dog walkers as a lot of these old paths are now. Uh, there's an old restraining wire fence post we've seen them many times and a concrete post. And I just continue along making my way along what is now a very overgrown um, footpath well 60 odd years of trees etc and uh, looks like this could uh, be with a service certainly won't pass an MOT and a little bit further along I find these rails buried in the path I mean, that's not the old railway line, but obviously some old rails that have been there. And now we approach what would have been a level crossing. And as I get a bit closer, it's a very busy road, this. Um, the station was right in front of us. And there's a, a, an old buffer stop. What's left of it. 
and the signal box was on the left. And we've just come across the road now. Here's the old buffer stop again, concrete. As I say, the station was where the garden centre is now, or some of the station was. And um, we'll have a look at the map now, and you can get a better idea. So here we have Fakenham Town Station, actually in the borough of Hempton, 22 miles from Lynn. Until the opening to Melton, this station was actually the terminus. It ended up, though, with two through lines served by two platforms. There were two signal boxes, east and west. West, we've noted, by the road and the level crossings. The station building on the up platform was a large pavilion type in red brick, and there was a timber waiting shelter on the down platform together with a tariff shed. The goods yard consisted of four sidings serving various facilities including a goods shed, loading dock, cattle pens and coal allotments, all the usual stuff. There was also a two road engine shed and turntable plus a large water tank perched up on metal columns. This station became a very successful and busy station with a large staff of station masters, clerks, signalmen and porters, some of whom you can see here. You can also see the footbridge that connected the two platforms and the east box in the background there and that's looking towards Melton Constable. And here is a modern aerial shot of Fakenham. You can see the line at the top there curving in from the left where we've just walked. And then it leaves at the bottom where we will continue eventually. And the area circled is the whole of the station area with the, sta with the station itself and the goods yard and engine shed now occupied by the large garden centre and a builder's merchants and some houses. And this is the garden centre that occupies the site of some of the station area. And at the other end of the stage area we find the end of the down platform. Uh, it's called Fakenham West or Fakenham Town and it's in the borough of Hepton. So, yeah, confusing. There's some old fence there, the original Middle and Great Northern style fence and it's part of the platform. Part of the, that's the dam platform. And now this is looking towards Melton at the end of that platform. Um, and the railway track would have gone across where that roadway is on the opposite side, which is actually the entrance to the golf course. Right, that's a convenient place to end part two, and we'll carry on to Melton in part three. So, thanks for watching.